Well, Cameron Park pilot is on the verge of a world record. He already has a storied military career. Yeah, the retired U.S. Air Force veteran flew fighters in the South Pacific. He was an instructor during the Korean War, and he flew gunships in Vietnam. KCRA 3's Rob Malcolm joins us to explain how his remarkable story continued today in Placerville. Rob? Yeah, it certainly is, Edie. Now, the 95 year old Cameron Park uh, pilot still takes to the skies twice a month for pleasure and also as an instructor. But after 30 years in the military, he realized there was still something missing from his very accomplished resume. He earned his wings in 1943 at a pivotal time in American history. When Pearl Harbor hit, I decided I wanted to fly airplanes. So I took a written examination and a physical examination and passed it. He volunteered for service in 1941, and at 95 years young, Peter Weber Jr. has never looked back. I flew a total of 17 civilian airplanes and 20 different military airplanes, making a total of 37 different kinds of airplanes. After a simple conversation, he's now taking flight to look down on a world record. One day I was in here, and they asked my age, and I told them, and they said, geez, you're probably the oldest pilot in California. Then the surprise. So in researching, and he found out that he was the world's oldest active pilot. And that's why we started this whole uh, process, to see if we could get him in the Guinness Book. With the help of his son, also a pilot, they spread their wings to prove it, with three circuits of the airfield, starting with a low pass. A touch and go. Then completed with a full stop landing. Oh, I thought he did a great job. It was an achievement, and his wife of 72 years will keep him grounded. He goes out and he does the same thing, and it's not very interesting. He, but he flies and lands and flies and lands and two or three times every week. So this today... It was just another flight. He spent a lifetime looking down from above. Family members will now be looking up. All right, so we have to make it clear that this was only an attempt, so now Peter will have to wait about six weeks to hear back from the Guinness World Records office in London because the achievement still has to be certified, and every two years he also has to uh, pass a physical and a flight test, and still spry, and you wow. heard the wife, and behind every great man is a great woman, I guess, right? Married <laughs> for 72 I'm years. I'm still stuck on that. Yeah. You said that, I said, is that right? Yeah. 72 years? That's right, and his son is 70 years old and uh, also retired, so I mean, there's something in the genes in that family, but... Uh, I like how she keeps them grounded saying, yeah. oh, it's not very interesting. Yeah, know, but he goes out and does it yeah, well, at 95 you know years old. Very yeah. cool. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Rob. Rob. Right.